many people who get caught up in the trappings of drink and drugs, life is never the same again, even if they make a full recovery and manage to stay sober. Indeed, for Robin Banks, his addiction to both cocaine and alcohol played a part in who he was and what he broadcast as a famous DJ. It resulted in many high-profile fallouts with his employers. But he's now managed to put his troubled past behind him and has been given what he calls a ninth chance. He's now back on the airwaves and broadcasting across the Midlands. In a frank interview, Robin has been talking to Central Tonight reporter Lucy Watson. Coke was, was it. I was, I was banging you know, three, four, five grams a day. I'd be up for three, four days on the trot, still going in doing radio shows though. In the last year, I probably spent 50 grand plus on drugs. It's a dark and troubled past that affected who he was and what he was. The only happy time for me doing drugs was waiting for it to arrive. That was the happy time, my oh, great, great, great. The minute I did it, I would be mentally tormented of why am I doing this? I tell you what, let's do another one. Uh, it was hellish, it was horrible, and yeah, I can feel it. I was on the floor in fetal positions a few times crying, going, why am I doing this? And then I'd be on the phone to my dealer. Running around, Robin Banks, Robin Banks. Robin Banks. His career started in pirate radio in Ireland at the tender age of 13. More than two decades on, and Robin's worked for major stations like Virgin, Galaxy and Kiss. I'd be a liar if I, if I didn't say at the beginning it was fun. We used to go out and um, uh, party with, with pop stars and rock stars and um, have a, just have a great time. Well, I do these crazy things when I'm, do, when I'm on drugs. I've, you know, there'd be people at the end of the night taking out guns on the table and I'd be chatting to them about stuff and I'd always have the fantastic story to go back and tell people and also tell on the radio. When I was at KISS, I would take a day off every two weeks. Uh, but my figures were so good that my bosses didn't really mind. He was known for breaking into radio stations, taking shows off air and brawling with rivals, but nobody knew the addictions behind the headlines. If you think that alcoholism addiction is a disease, which a lot of people do think it's that, then it is the only disease that tells you that you haven't got it. I couldn't look people in the eye because I know my eyes would be massive or I'd be paranoid, but I'd always have some fantastic excuses as to why I was behaving erratically. I was constantly paranoid. I couldn't even open my email program. I couldn't speak to anyone on the phone. My beautiful girlfriend, who I was going to marry, left me. Uh, of course, in my head, it was all her fault. Then there was the blackout after two days of drink, drugs and no sleep. I remember doing an hour, which would have been one o'clock till two o'clock in the afternoon. And then I wasn't on the radio anymore. And I was out. I remember being outside in Manchester thinking, well, what's just happened? Where, where, where am I? He had three options. You can either lose everything and end up on the streets. Um, you can die <laughs> or you can get, get better. It wasn't until I was actually in rehab that I realised how I was manipulating myself and realised I had a big problem. How are you different now? I'm not different, apart from the fact I don't drink or take drugs anymore. You know, I know a lot of people, and have spoken to a lot of people that in, in the media, in music uh, and radio that, that I used to take drugs with, and they won't speak to me because it makes them think about their own use. Hi, my name is Robin Banks. Uh, the kid in the corner there is Theo the Greek. Two and a half years on, he's back on air and driving the desk. A brave decision for any boss. What Robin has is, through all his past and everything else, a phenomenal life experience that he can share with an audience um, and bring to life on the air. Robin's comfortable with his past, but now pushing forwards with his life. I'm really happy. I got my girl back. I travelled to Australia to to you know, a year and a half ago, uh, got got her back, back on the radio. Um, future's good. The story behind the name, Robin Banks. Yeah, you won't listen to him in the same way now, will you? Now. So